Hi, my name's Lucas. Welcome to behind the scenes testing of Reillusion's new AccuFace feature in iCloud. Oh, I smell the blood of an Englishman. My wife and I have been professional voice actors for over 20 years, but we wanted to make our own animations and video games so we could feel more creatively in control. We specialize in dreamy indie art games that are maybe a bit spooky at times, and we leverage a Rococo Smart Suit Pro alongside iClone for mocap cleanup and Character Creator for all of our characters. And we put that in Unreal Engine. For facial mocap, we've been using the iPhone Live Face method, and it's been working great right out of the box for the vast majority of our gameplay and cutscenes. And for the few times that we might want a full cinematic close-up or something quirky and a bit different, we'll take the Live Face as our base with a bit of facial puppeting and then facial keying over top. The goal is always to get good facial animation really quickly without spending days or weeks finessing the facial animation, and I think our results work really well. To test AccuFace, I wanted to see how far I could push it both in the expressive, maybe overacted or cartoony department, as well as in the subtlety department. And I have a beard and my wife has a nose ring, and I wanted to see if those would impact the quality at all, since I'd understand if they did. The first thing I noticed is that a simple pass of AccuFace with AccuLips enabled gave immediately usable and implementable results that are competitive with other indie games and other games in general, and they're suitable for medium and close-up shots, and I didn't feel the need to polish with keying or facial puppeting. I still could if I wanted, and sometimes I will, uh, but it's not necessary to an even greater degree than it was before. And if you're doing subtle and natural conversational stuff, that's really all there is to it, as long as you make sure you're calibrated and have some smoothing applied. Uh um, okay. I, uh, I think you're like walking ick. No and cap. <laughs> naturalistic dialogue always looks great. Check this one out. I don't know if I'll ever be who I wanted to be. I just feel like the world passed me by. But what about something that can't leverage AccuLips because it's got a nasty reaction sound off the top? What does that look like? This is the last time you come through my lens. Okay, how about something loose and cartoony? I'm especially interested in this because this man's model provides us with a lot of opportunity to stylize the facial mocap data to match his face. So for this one, I'm going to focus less on realism and more on making the right performance for a guy with this kind of jaw and neck structure. I noticed that he looked great when his mouth was open wider, so I tried to tailor the dialogue and the read to emphasize that. Ah, <laughs> well, well, uh, uh, if it isn't all of my arch nemesis in one place, <laughs> um, I didn't expect to see so many of you all at once, so can we reschedule? I really liked this bald guy model. He made me feel seen as a fellow bald man. So what if he does a tongue twister with a lot of P or P sounds, which are always tricky for facial mocap? Because facial mocap likes things that go side to side or up and down, but forward and backwards is always a little bit trickier. And P sounds can end up swallowing your teeth a little bit or pushing them out. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? But what if we gave him dialogue to match his look better? I guess what I have to say is, I am the man with the plan. And that one was just facial mocap and aculips. I didn't do any keyframing. The only adjustment I did was actually turn down the strength of the mocap data and the aculip data. To contrast the iPhone facial mocap with the AccuFace system, here's some footage from a few years ago where we were testing and calibrating the iPhone facial mocap. Number one, you'll see some stuttering and lag on the animated character because the phone wasn't connected via the Ethernet attachment yet, it was just on Wi-Fi. And whether it's connected via Ethernet or Wi-Fi, you can have some internet lag, but it's worse if it was just on Wi-Fi. And in this case, our router was in a completely different room than we currently were when we were testing. So that's a big difference. The AccuFace system is just from a video file and it has a timecode feature, so there's no dropped frames. But more than that, you can see the eyebrows move as one, even when she's doing subtle expressions, whereas AccuFace, the eyebrows are asymmetrical, which is a really big deal for getting some nice expressions. And sometimes blinking can actually shake the whole character's head. I don't know if you've noticed that with the iPhone system. 
And then also, we're calibrating in real time with my wife sitting beside me at the desk. And I don't know if you have done that, but it can get a little bit boring for the performer just to sit there for the whole time as you're doing the more techie side of things. So it's actually really nice to have some footage that you can calibrate on your own and then just show people the finished product rather than have your performer kind of sit through this whole process. Now, since the iPhone is using depth lasers to track your face, it can track a little bit better in low light situations. However, you can even see with my beard helping make a dark lighting situation appear even darker to a camera, uh, proper lighting just gets the job done. With all that said, let's take a peek at the toughest challenge I sent to Reillusion for AccuFace and let's see how it holds up. Oh, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he living or be he dead, or ground his bones to bake my bread. For this one, I did a bit of work on tongue movement in a couple spots as well, because you can now. You can actually animate the tongue by hand, which is awesome. And I exaggerated the nose movement on the sniffing so it matched a little bit better. And that was about it other than the raw mocap and AccuLips data. And I'm really excited to see how AccuFace can enhance my projects with subtle expressive details or even with bigger, more exaggerated expressions. I hope you enjoyed watching this process. And more than anything, I hope you're inspired to do some new facial mocap or facial animation on your own projects.